So, you're interested in one of our small refrigerated trailers. Hi, my name is Brandon Harris with Mobile Icebox. Today I want to talk about the quality built of the trailer that we have for sale. A couple of things I want to focus on is some of the things the other manufacturers might not be focusing on, such as the quality built of the trailer or the box itself. So here we have our tires, which are 225-75R15. They are 15-inch steel belted tires to be able to handle the load of you driving down the highway at speeds of 60, 70 miles an hour. And trust me, this thing tracks very well on the highway. Transports like a dream. The other thing I want to talk about is the axles right down here. These axles are dual 5,200 pound Dexter axles with springs and equalizers for stability. And why that's important is when you're running your product down the road, you're hitting bumps. These axles are doing their job of stabilizing everything, equalizing the pressure going across the road so that your product on the inside stays safe, stays safe and firm and you don't lose any product to any damages. The other thing I want to talk about is what these axles sit on, the tires sit on, is the frame. So on the frame here, we have two by four tubular steels with quarter inch walls. So this, this frame, it's not going anywhere. It'll be able to handle the weight of this and whatever products you put in there, and it will last for many, many years. The other thing that's helping hold the box is these corners to the frame but there's corners here to make sure it doesn't get damaged. And these are 3 8 inch steel stock for the corners. Now, let's talk about the transport box itself. It's 20 inch gauge steel, welded corners, Ceramistar high performance finish, so it looks good even going down the road, foamed in place polyurethane insulation, so there's plenty of the polyurethane insulation in there. So even if it's 110 degrees outside, your product's going to stay cold or even frozen if that's what you choose to do. Heavy duty truck type hinges and lockable door latch. Let me walk around here, see if you can keep me on the camera. So here we, I want to talk about the transport box itself. This box is 20 gauge steel, welded corners, Cerama high performance finish. So when you got this thing rolling down the road, It'll catch your eye. It looks good, trust me. We have foamed in place insulation, the polyurethane insulation in the walls and in the doors throughout the whole box. And we have heavy duty truck type hinges and lockable. These things are made specifically, these hinges are made specifically for walk-in coolers, walk-in freezers to withstand the weight of the door over many years of service. So these things are not gonna wear out after a year or two of going down the road, being out in the weather like we are now. The other thing I wanna talk about is the lockable hinge right here. So you can be able to lock this thing from outside so that you can make sure while you're at the rest stop or driving down the road, you're not losing product, people are not messing with your stuff. You can put a lock on it and you know it's safe. So let's open up the door here. So what we have here is we have our plastic curtains to make sure that what cold air when you're loading or unloading you don't lose all that cold air coming out on the inside of this box it does also required by the government with the door safety lock so if you get locked in there for some reason you can untwist this the lock will fall off and you can walk outside so nobody can lock you inside the cooler or the freezer so the other thing I want to talk about is the smooth side walls of the stainless steel here along with the diamond plate down on the floor. And the last thing on the floor before we talk about the evaporator and the refrigeration just a little bit are these sidewalls. These are really nice so if you're loading a pallet or something else it stays smooth, it does not damage a sidewall and your product will keep from moving side to side. So here we are inside of the small refrigerated trailer that we at Mobile Icebox feels is the best one on the market. I already talked about the diamond plated floor, the skids on the side, and the sidewalls. Now I want to talk about the inside a little bit more. There's a door switch, so when you open up that door, your evaporator fans will stop turning. That way it's not drawing in the warm air from outside. There's also a light in the top corner so that you can see inside of the box at night. Now the last thing I want to talk about inside here 
is the evaporator itself. This particular unit is an auto defrosting. And what that means is you don't have to put it through a defrost, you don't have to turn it off to defrost. It will automatically, due to temperature and sensing different degrees on the evaporator itself, it will automatically go into a defrost, drain out the drain line, and then outside on the front of the cooler onto the ground. Then they also make a, we also make a cold wall refrigeration unit as well, which you don't have an evaporator here, but you have the refrigeration lines built inside of the wall. So here's the options we offer on these small refrigerated trailers that we at Mobile Icebox have. One of the biggest options is the generator. Highly recommend the generator, because without the generator, this box will not run going down the road. So you could run from here to California, and as long as you keep fuel in that generator, that box will stay 10 degrees, 34 degrees, you wanted a cooler, you wanted a freezer, we'll get it down to temp for you. That's not a problem. So that's our biggest option that we have that I want to go over real quick. The other things that we have is obviously the breakaway trailer system as well, so that if it does come loose from the truck, it'll put the brakes on the trailer so there's no more damages, no more hurt. Um, we have here our uh, tongue jack as well. We also, another option I highly recommend is on the front, even if you decide not to get the generator, on the front is the diamond plate for the front tongue area. We have opted to have this trailer painted in blue, which we really like. We do offer it in a black and a red trailer as well. So if there's some different options or something else you wanted to go with, we can paint the trailer, not the box itself, but the trailer of the chassis and the wheel welds, uh, the same color, black, red or blue um, as well. We do offer a couple other things I don't have here is a spare tire mount. I do, I wish I would have put it on this truck. I will be adding it later. I do recommend that you do go with the spare tire mount as well. As you saw in the back, uh, the step down bumper, I highly recommend the step down bumper to be able to get in and out for ease of use hopping inside the cooler and freezer, especially if you're not going to use it. If you're going to use it for strictly transport, maybe not, but if you're going to use it as a walk-in cooler freezer, it does make it a little easier on your knees to get in and out of the box as well. Uh, on the other side here, I know you can't see it, but on the other side we do have a temperature gauge, but we do all of our temperature gauge in the electronic box, which I'll go over in a separate video as well. Um, so. There's a lot more options. Uh, those are just uh, some of the basics that I really like. So I wanted to take the minute to go over those with you. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us.